If someone were to say that humans evolved from fish, you would probably be surprised and might even find it absurd. However, there is a scientific basis for this statement. One theory suggests that even in the early stages of human embryonic development, there are traces of features suited for aquatic life, such as gill slits and a tail. However, the transition from fish to humans was an extremely lengthy process, spanning approximately 500 million years. It's important to note that humans didn't directly evolve from fish, but rather can trace their ancestry back to ancient fish. This evolution occurred through stages that included ancient fish, amphibians, reptiles, mammals, and eventually led to the emergence of humans. In this lengthy process of evolution, the transition of ancient fish from water to land was a remarkable event, often considered a significant turning point or major milestone in this process. So, which type of fish were the first to make this transition? Researchers have discovered fossils of lobe-finned fish dating back approximately 300 to 400 million years. The lobe-finned fish had a skeletal structure in their pectoral and pelvic fins that was somewhat similar to the limb bones of terrestrial animals. These powerful fins were well suited for supporting and moving the body on land. Additionally, the lobe-finned fish possessed a lung-like structure which allowed them to directly breathe air, an essential adaptation for survival on land. These two characteristics provided the lobe-finned fish with the necessary conditions to make the transition to terrestrial life. Why did the lobe-finned fish transition from water to land? Some scientists believe that around 300 to 400 million years ago, there was a significant tectonic event that resulted in a large-scale mountain building process. Following this event, the oceanic areas decreased in size while land masses expanded. The climate became more arid, leading to the drying up of some water bodies. This environmental shift forced lobe-finned fish, which previously inhabited shallow waters, to venture onto dry land in search of new habitats and food sources. Over time, this gradual process served as a training ground, honing their ability to survive on land. Some scientists propose a different perspective on this transition. They suggest that during that era, the climate wasn't necessarily arid but rather characterized by high temperatures. The hot and humid conditions led to the decay of aquatic plants, causing water bodies to become turbid and severely oxygen-deprived. Lobe-finned fish found it challenging to survive in such oxygen-depleted waters, so they were compelled to venture onto land. Once lobe-finned fish made this transition over an extended period, their pectoral and pelvic fins gradually transformed into limbs, their swim bladder evolved into lungs, their hearts developed a three-chambered structure, and their circulatory system formed two distinct pathways. This marked the emergence of amphibians on Earth, opening the door to terrestrial vertebrate evolution. From fish, the evolutionary journey continued to amphibians, then reptiles, followed by birds and mammals. Over a long course of evolution, mammals, including primates, emerged, eventually leading to the evolution of humans from ancient primates.